1989, I signed Tupac to my company, which was TNT Records. He was just such an energetic, humble, smart guy that had incredible stories through his lyrics. And we were trying to get him a record deal. We weren't having a lot of success at that time. Digital Underground was signed to my label. And so I went to Shock and said, was there any way we can take him on the road with Digital Underground? I was like, he can do some background rapping, he can carry some shit, and be a roadie. We can always use another Humpty dancer. I'm sure that was a shot to his ego, but he held it down. As we toured, each big Coliseum show always had an in-town club after party. The after parties is where Pac started making his name and his presence known throughout the United States. He would take the mic and do his thing. In the summer of 91, there was a new record company, Interscope, and they were looking for hip hop artists. Interscope knew Pac had something special. So in August 91, he did the Interscope deal. Tupac is signed as an artist before Death Row had made a penny. Before Suge and Death Row themselves made a distribution deal with Interscope. When his first record was appearing on MTV, Tupac was beaten in the head very badly. I call this press conference to announce that I have filed a $10 million claim against two Oakland police officers and the city of Oakland on behalf of Tupac. The police officer stopped me on the sidewalk and asked to see my ID. They sweated me about my name. They were charging me with jaywalking. The officers said, you are not above the law. You have to learn your place. Put my hand out to get the citation. Next thing I know, my face was being buried into the concrete, and I was laying face down in the gutter, waking up from being unconscious in cuffs with blood on my face, and I'm going to jail for resisting arrest. That shit is traumatic, but that was a rite of passage. And he come from a family where relatives were killed by the police. But think about it, if you stop in the streets and you show your ID and you still getting sweated because of your name, my name makes me a criminal. It's about me being a young black male and I was lynched in broad daylight and then taken to jail for that. After he had been beaten by the Oakland police, that changed to him. Young black men go through that process where you get great anger at the reality of life for a young black male. 